Hello, and once again, we're here, filming in glorious 3D, especially for you, at the Bonnie Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond, at Lush Pier, yet again. Why are we here today? A year later from the last video, or the last interview, if you want to call it an interview, I'm interviewing seagulls, you know, does it matter who I'm interviewing? The fact is, I'm here to tell you what I feel is going wrong. I want you to think, I want you to think seriously, is this why we're having so many problems around the world with tsunamis, floods, earthquakes? It's really worrying, especially when you have children. And you think to yourself, is this all going to be here for them? Is this going to be here for them? In five years' time? In ten years' time? I look over here and I see the kids running on the beach. But you know the funny and the strange thing is, there is no beach. The loch. Okay, it's a lock, so it's got a lot of water, you expect that. But, it's got too much water. They've got a generator down there to pump the water away from the main road and to keep the houses from being flooded. But does that not beg the question, has Scotland been affected by global warming? Of course it is. So what are we going to do about it? But look at that there. It looks terrific. I mean, I wish I had one myself, right? But I don't. But then again, I think the pollution, I can actually smell the diesel. Coming off its engine, its outboard engine. So it's not only polluting the water that we drink in Glasgow, by the way, but it's polluting the whole landscape, the wildlife that needs this area. And for what? We like to have recreational places to come to. We like to be able to enjoy ourselves. But how can we when one fights against the other, causing floods, there's no beach for anyone to sit on, to snack, to picnic, to... So anyway... To get to the point, the point is, we've all got to think and think together what we're going to do to help save this planet before any more injustice is spread upon it. Because this planet is not going to last forever. We read in books about so called comets. There's one comet that's meant to be racing around. The solar system just now, Comet X, let's call it. Which was meant to be causing the tsunamis and the earthquakes and Christchurch. Goodness, could we forget that? The tsunami in Tokyo, it wasn't Tokyo, Tokyo, everywhere in Japan was struck down by this terrible disaster. And it goes on and on and on. God forbid that the fault line that goes down the west coast of America is that going to be affected by the weather and climate change? I look up in the sky and I see these white streaks and flares flares from aeroplanes which take us from one country to another now this is a problem, travel how do we travel 
without polluting our world, our air, our lock, as, as I said, with that speedboat. How do we do that? And how do we save the fossil fuels? There's not much fossil fuel left. Or, should I say, oil. And what does oil cause? It causes nothing but war. And as Frankie says, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. So, after you've watched this, I hope you may consider. Consider. And give yourself a bit of time thinking, what can you do to maybe help the situation? I know what I'm going to do. I won't be driving about in two, three different cars, family cars. We will only be using one car from now on. Simply because we only have one car. <laughs> but there's many families out there who have got three cars, to get this, to get that. And good on them, they've worked hard enough to be rewarded for them. But that reward's going to be taken away from them soon. And what will the reward be? We'll just take a, a look around us and you'll see what the reward will be. That's all I've got to say. God bless you. Have a good life. And think of the future. Let's all pull together and get something done about this. From Sea Glasgow TV, Brian, Taylor, and all the rest of the crew are sitting in the car, drinking tea and coffee while I'm standing here at 7 degrees. When only four weeks ago it was 28 Celsius. Four weeks ago, I came up here to get the blooms from the trees. Where are they? They've gone. There's no beach. Flooded. Listen, I'm going to go on, right? So have a look around. This is what we're going to lose if we're not careful.